So hi friend, this is Amit and you are watching my channel information and educational video. So in this video, I will talk about Amrita counseling 2021 that you so here I will talk about the fee and a scholarship criteria. So many students ask me about the fee structure of different uh, campus of Amrita and a scholarship criteria whether it will be available from second year or not. So all those things I will discuss in this video and I will provide you the all campus fee structure. It is how much you have to pay if you join a particular campus because there is four campus of Amrita counseling for BTEC. So here I will also talk about the percentage of seat reserved for each slab. As you all know, there is three type of slab uh, that is uh, three type of scholarship available. That is slab one, slab two, and slab three. And then the regular fee uh, is applicable. So I will talk about the uh, how many percent of the seat is reserved for slab one, slab two, and slab three. And also I will talk about the refund policy. That is the most important thing. Once you uh, get the seat and you you have to pay the fee, but many students they uh, don't want to take the admission after that so how you can get the refund and till when you can get the refund and how much you will get the refund so all those things in, uh, i will talk in this video only so if you are first to my channel please try to subscribe this channel so that you will get all the update about amrita counseling and other counseling other entrance exam including j main j advance also in this channel only so and one more information if you want counseling guidance for amrita you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number available in the description box so that i can guide you for the counseling because now the counseling is most important thing once you get the marks and rank now it's all depend on the counseling because ultimately counseling will provide the seat so it's advisable to take the guidance of any experienced person if you don't have try to contact so that i can provide you the counseling guidance for that you have to register with me once you register i will take full responsibility for your counseling and i will provide you the best out of your rank that you will get and not only amrita once you register with me i will guide you for all other counseling that you will do in 2021 so let's start this video so here is the amrita scholarship criteria so first thing is a scholarship is applicable to only first year whatever uh, is the scholarship you will get suppose you got got the slab one uh, seat in the counseling so that will be applicable only for the first year to continue that in from the second year also you have to get some minimum uh, cgpa that i will discuss in this video so you have to maintain a minimum cgpa for the continuation of the scholarship as i told you so uh, for slab 1, 2, 3 minimum CGPA required is for this year 8 CGPA for slab 1 if you got slab 1 and you want to continue for the second year also you have to uh, you have to score 8, 8 CGPA for the in the first uh, first year that is in both the semester your average average marks should be 8 CGPA so and, and for 8 CGPA if you don't know then uh, it is uh, equivalent to 73 or 72.5 to 73 percent marks so that is very easy to get in the first year itself because uh, in the first year you don't have to study so much subject and for uh, and for slab 2 7.5 per uh, CGPA and for th uh, slab 3 7 CGPA is required after each academic year and if slab 1 a student scores 7.5 to 8 CGPA that is you fail to get 8 and above then you have to pay the slab 2 fee from second year and uh, similarly for slab 2 and slab 3 that is uh, if you uh, if you got slab 2 now and you score only 7 uh, seven CGPA or less than 7.5 CGPA then you have to pay the fee of uh, slab 3 and you get, get the slab 3 and you uh, score less than 7 CGPA then you have to pay the regular fee. Once your uh, scholarship is degraded you can't uh, upgrade it by a scoring more number in the next year also. Suppose in the first year you got the uh, slab 1 and in the I, uh, but in the first year uh, CG, your CGPA is not uh, uh, above 8 that is uh, between 7.5 and 8 so you, you have to pay the slab 2 fee in the, in the second year but suppose in the second year examination you got the CGPA that is 8 or 8.59 then also you have to pay slab 2 fee only no, you can't get back the slab 1 fee criteria again so this is the very important information you should know it and once again i would like to inform you if you need counseling guidance try to contact me or any person who have the experience because once you do the mistake no one will help you later so i have seen many students have did the mistake this year itself in vit counseling and last year in amrita counseling also so you you can contact me through instagram and whatsapp number available in the description box so that i can provide you the counseling guidance once you get into the higher slab you can't go back to the previous at any cost that i that i explained previously the same has been written here so this is all about the Amrita scholarship criteria. So hope you find this uh, information very useful. So now I will talk about the fee structure and the refund policy. So here is the Amrita fee structure. So for slab 1, uh, that is the 10% seat is only reserved in each campus, each branch, 
in slab one so this is the very important information for slab one only 10 percent seat is reserved and for slab one you have to pay only one lakh fee for amrita puri and bangalore campus and you can check uh, check the uh, all the information by pausing this video and uh, you will get this information on the website also but the information is very important that is for slab 1 only 10% slab 2 20% slab 3 20% seat will be re reserved in each branch each campus and for regular uh, regular fee structure there will be 50% seat so you can check the different fee structure because for different campus the fee structure is different but clearly for the computer campus the fee is slightly higher than the other and you can check other side wise and for the hostel fee uh, that is Coimbatore campus is available and for other uh, there is no uh, fixed price is revealed now but they will and uh, they will provide you that later once you get the admission or uh, once you join the college you uh, you will have to pay the fee that is hostel and mess fee according to your requirement so next if you talk about Amrita Puri refund policy so here is the refund policy that is if you get the seat and pay the fee that is so after getting a seat you have to pay the confirmation fee that is 1 lakh and if you pay the rest amount also then if you ask for the refund before 14th of October you will get the refund by deducting only the 5000 that you have pay that you will pay for the registration of the counseling and if you ask for the refund before 31st of October you will get the refund after deducting 10% of the amount that you have paid and similarly uh, before 7th November 20% will be dis uh, 20% uh, will be deducted and uh, if you ask for before 15th of November that is the last date to uh, to ask for the refund you will get the 50% refund and after that you will not get any type of refund so this is the very important information regarding the Amrita refund policy and Amrita scholarship Amrita fee structure so next I will provide you the step by step counseling process information so that you can get the much needed information about the counseling so once again I would like to inform you if you want counseling guidance try to contact me through instagram or whatsapp number if if you want then only otherwise put your question in the comment section that will be better so thanks for watching this video please try to subscribe to the channel so that you will get all the uh, update about amrita and other interns other counseling also in this channel only so thanks for watching this video please try to share and subscribe this channel